Guys, Rich at the Collector Car Gallery uh, warehouse. This is one of our warehouses out in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, today we're looking at this 1972 Chevrolet Corvette, war bonnet yellow, convertible. This car has actually a, uh, been awarded the Bloomington Gold Survivor Award. Um, and we're just gonna kind of take a look at this thing for a potential online buyer. Uh, let's see here. Okay, just like all of our videos, um, I love showing the good, but I love showing the bad too. So we'll just get into that in a second here. Let's just take a look at the nose here real quick of this car. As you can see, looks like, um, you know, this thing won a survivor award. I don't believe it's been painted ever since or anything like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, this marker light up here potentially has like a, uh, a newer kind of a, vibe that for it than that one that but that's okay that that certainly looks like an original but maybe like a, a reconditioned original or something like that all this looks pretty decent under here let's get into the meat and potatoes of it uh let's see well we love original uh looks like we've had things that have made the car like uh just you know safe to drive bushings and looks like somebody put new calipers on it i mean you got to stop right so other than that, everything looks pretty unmessed with, you know, the backing plates and all that. Uh, let's look up in here. I don't see where the car has been smacked on this side. Let's see, this side looks the same. I don't see any evidence of that. What we're gonna do is let's kind of take a trip down the, the driver's side of the car on the underside here. Um, we've got a little, little wetness right here. It's a little, little wet maybe. Oil pan, uh, I don't see any active drips, but it looks a little wet. Same thing around the starter, not quite sure where it's coming from, but just kind of a little seeps and leaks like on an old car. Frame looks spectacular up here. I mean, this just, wow, this looks great. I mean, really nice. Looking up in there, you know, if you can kind of get a peek at parts of the birdhouse, that's great. Again, floor looks good, frame looks good. Exhaust, exhaust been replaced. I mean, there's no way this is original, you know, but looks like it's a correct original or correct replacement. Uh, let's see, mounts look good. You know, this is just the kind of crusty stuff that looks really nice. See, it looks nice right there. And this is all good stuff, you know, all this, excuse me, this original-ish type looking stuff. Looks good. Shocks. I'm not certain those are, those are original. They could be. I don't think so. I think I don't I don't see where those are Delcos. That's an easy fix though. Excuse me. Let's look at the back end here. Let's look way up in there. Let me get my light so it shows it better. Yeah, like this. There we go. All that looks pretty nice. Really nice actually. Exhaust looks good. Chrome looks great. I'm, I mean, I'm saying that's original chrome. You know, originally a Roger Penske car. It's always cool. Uh, spares in there. It appears to be an original lock. You know, all that's an original lock for sure. <laughs> Let's see up in here. I like that. That all looks good. Let's look up here in the wheel wells, very nice. So I'll take a trip kind of back down the passenger side. Um, this this is all just scale, you know, in my opinion. So like when we look at this stuff, um, you know, I, I think this is all just scale on this car. Like what I would love to do is like, just not overdo it, you know, but just take, some pressure 
it tasted kind of rusty. A little pressure and a little hot water. And just, I love to, to kind of do this underneath. I just don't want to overdo it, you know, because, man, this, this thing would just knock all this scale off and just look phenomenal. I mean, a real phenomenal looking car underneath. Um, floors look great. Again, look at all this. This is all original stuff. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Let's take a peek around the outside of this thing. And then what we'll do is we'll do another video. We'll get it down on the ground and um, kind of go from there. So let's see. Frame looks good on the exterior here too. Trim looks good. Looks like we can kind of make out a bonding strip up there. Maybe I'll show it when it's on the ground. It's kind of cool. Nice stuff. Very nice underneath too. On the on the, all the fiberglass is great on this thing. Gosh, I mean, I think this is like original chrome, original everything. So, where are we at? This yes, yeah, so we got some. So maybe some replacement brake calipers and maybe uh, exhaust right now, which I don't think you'd get dinged for that. <laughs> tires are, these are bias ply tires for sure. I think these are just like a correct replacement. These are not the original tires. There's just no way. They're just too good looking. I'll try to see if I can find a date code somewhere on them. Yeah, look at this, man, nice stuff. I mean, this is, you know, on C3s, this is, this is the, this is the, what everybody warned you about right here, all this up in here. And that just, just scale. I mean, you really got to know what you're looking at here, guys, to, to know on this car. God, look at this stuff. Look at this. Wow, nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Great. Well, what we're going to do is, I'm really pleased so far. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing on the ground. Um, we'll do a walk around, a cold start. We'll look at the good, the bad, and everything. And then um, that'll be the next video. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana. 1972 Chevrolet Corvette Bloomington Gold Survivor Award. <laughs>